on deck review today we have something that a lot of you guys have been asking about it is the uh, BCM Mod Zero comp and flash lighter combo we're gonna go ahead keep putting a few rounds through it here and then uh, at the end we'll let you know what we think we're gonna go ahead and test the muzzle control here we have obviously the BCM comp on there and uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm 15 yards away I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at that eight and a half uh, by 11 inch piece of paper see how fast we can put uh, five shots on it while still keeping all the rounds on target Here's the shot timer, go ahead and reset it, and uh, see what we get. Well, let's go check the target, but before I do... Yeah, I reset it. It was 1.2. Alright, let's go check it. So we're up here on the target, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then right here is 5. So all shots on target, 1.2 seconds, 15 yards away. Not too shabby. Up next, we're going to go ahead and test and see how the BCM uh, comp does at night. We're firing uh, silver bear ammo. That's what you guys see. It is 55 grain silver bear ammo if my camera will focus. Well, you don't have to trust me on it. Anyway, same rifle, 16 inch, mid length. Let's see how it does. Since I didn't mention it so far, the difference between the Mod 1 and the Mod 0 is that the Mod 1 is designed for 14.5 inch barrel, so you can go ahead and pin it on there and make it a non-NFA item. The Mod 0 is for all other uses. Um, now basically to get into comparisons, a few things you want to talk about when you're talking about any kind of comp or break or anything like that. You want to cover blast, flash, and uh, muzzle rise or recoil impulse if you will. So first up, blast. Um, Compare it to your standard A2 flash hider, the blast is a little bit more. Also compared to a battle comp, which I'm going to kind of use throughout this review a good bit because most people are very, very familiar with it. I've also done a review on it if you guys want to reference that. But compared to the battle comp, it has slightly more blast, um, at least in my opinion. Um, but if you're taking, if you're comparing it to like a uh, side ported, like say like a surefire break or something like that, it definitely has less. So it's somewhere in the middle there. Um, the flash. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, play a clip right here back to back of the battle comp versus this one with uh, the same ammo and this very rifle on both of them. So you guys can actually decide for yourself which one's gonna have more muzzle flash. Tough to tell on that. They're both pretty close in terms of the muzzle flash. Um, when it comes to muzzle rise or recoil impulse, things like that, the battle comp, in my opinion, does a slightly better job of keeping the muzzle on track but at the same time it has more of a straight back recoil impulse if you will. This one has more of a lateral recoil impulse. So for right-handed shooters, in my opinion, it's gonna move a little bit to the right, left-handed shooters a little bit to the left. At least that's what I've noticed so far. And my friend who's a left-handed shooter shooting this rifle as well has noticed that. So the muzzle's gonna move a little bit more with this, but at the same time, uh, the recoil impulse isn't quite a straight back. At least that's what I perceived. Um, all in all, considering this thing's gonna come in anywhere around $89, $80, depending on where you're buying it, it's a good it's a good model device now you gotta think i've been comparing it to the uh, battle comp and the surefire break throughout the review those ones are going to run you well for the battle comp around 130 maybe even a little bit more surefires around 150 plus or minus 20 for those this one's coming in at a much lower price point so performance is probably on par with what you're getting in all reality um it's a good comp is it a great comp probably not but it is priced reasonably as well so pros and cons to everything but all in all, guys, if you have any uh, questions about this comp, anything else I test here on the channel, our review, you can feel free to post the comments in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer. You can also post it over at my Facebook page. But um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope to see you guys in the next video.